Okay, so here we go. We've got a uh, about a five, six pound uh, brisket flat uh, choice meat, and uh, we've let it sit overnight in a, uh, a mustard base um, slather with coffee rub. I did a beef bouillon soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, brown sugar injection. Uh, that's why you've got a lot of the, uh, the juices and stuff kind of running out from the bottom. Uh, so we're gonna put this on the trigger today. Our wonderful brisket flat. Some uh, clean aluminum uh, on the bottom. You always want that. And a uh, great trap. Let's see how this puppy goes in about three hours of leaving it up by itself. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna open this bad boy up, um, put the meat probe in, um, get a little dousing of uh, apple cider vinegar, just to kind of keep the top moist because it's probably dried out a little bit, even though I've got some water in here. Uh, the rosemary on top. Okay, not looking too bad. So you can see right here, it's still pretty moist. Got dry in the back, uh, as expected. Water level didn't go down too much. Okay, so I'm gonna put the meat probe in, play around this area here, give it a spritz with the rosemary on top, and then uh, hit it to 250. Okay, so the, uh, the spritz is done, and the uh, meat probe is in. Set this bad boy to 250. We'll check it every hour just to see uh, it's on time to go to temperature. Okay, so here we are, like right at 160. And the sucker's been going at 260 for quite a while. This is uh, where I get to wrap it um, because of the what's known as a stall. So usually uh, the meat starts sweating to a point uh, where the, the juices start flowing out. Uh, that piece of meat right there. Take it out and uh, wrap it on my little makeshift uh, table over here. Uh, spritz it down with some uh, vinegar and put it back on until it reaches 200. Okay, so we're at uh, the 200 range. This is uh, about seven hours after getting her on. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is uh, basically put this thing in a, uh, a cooler, let it kind of calm down a little bit. I guess the temperature is gonna rise uh, above the 200 mark. That's uh, Weeks their own, uh, but for me, it just gives me that sense of comfort and peace of mind knowing that it, you know, cooked the temperature. And it's also good if you're uh, going to be going somewhere else. Uh, stick it in the cooler and be on your way. Okay, so it's been about an hour uh, since I took it off the grill. Next step is uh, take this puppy out. So in there and uh, get her cut. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. It's been resting for an hour. Pencil with cuts. This thing is so tender. <laughs> That's the test right there. Does it pull apart? So it's all cut up on the board, and my favorite thing to do with these guys is make brisket sandwiches. Um, toppings are a little bit of homemade barbecue sauce, recipe not provided, and uh, some Duke's mayonnaise, this is from the south. And a little side of uh, corn on the cob, and uh, those homemade uh, potato salad, wonderful stuff. Time to dig in.